Hello guys and welcome to EMG Dragon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use my belt, um, how to go through every tap and what's in it. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's go right through it. All right. So we're going to start with movies. Movies, if you click on the movies tab, uh, basically it shows you all the add-ons that offer movies. All these offer movies uh, in different categories and everything else. Uh, you could go through them and then see what uh, what's inside and which ones you like. Now the ones that are put right underneath movies or any category, basically the the ones on the bottom, they show my favorite ones, the ones that I, I like the best, the ones that I that I think work uh, the best uh, for me, anyways. You go through it, and if you don't like it, I mean you could go through the movies and TVs and so on and so on. Uh, but here, let's start with uh, theaters. If you go to theaters, uh, you get a bunch of movies that that are in the movie theaters. Again, you could click on any one of them and you know it'll play right through um, uh, the other thing you could do is you could press the menu button on a particular movie and and press uh, play using and that'll give you basically it's gonna sort out all the sources and give you the you know a list of what where it's grabbing it from and what quality it is so you could see if it's an HD if it's high quality medium quality Usually, if it's a movie in the movie theaters, they're, honestly, they're, they're cameras that they don't look very good, so they're going to be at best high quality. And as you can see right here, it says HQ, and then you could click on it and play the movie. Uh, or you could just press it and it'll play right away by itself. But, you know, I, I like to choose what, what I'm watching. So, especially once you get familiarized with well, which sources work the best, it'll work great for you. Uh, Phoenix has a bunch of different add-ons here a bunch of uh, different ones uh, phoenix is huge um, one of the best ones that i like is this one that says one two four two four one five uh this one if you go to new releases uh they usually put the movies here uh if they came out in the movie theater or anything like that uh if it's in good quality uh they'll put it here first be before anywhere else and you just click on the movie and usually like let's say this one right here will give you three different links and as you can see here i play this one so i know this one works um and it'll play right beautifully no problem all right uh if you go to uh rock crusher again same thing it has a bunch of different categories you can watch kids hd uh, this one too as well this one has 3d movies and everything else so again play around with it go through it see which ones you like which ones uh, you don't like and what works and what does not work uh, muds it's a great add-on it works flawlessly what I like about this one is that it, it tells you exactly the quality of the movie like if it's in 1080 720 you know it tells you okay this one we have in 720 all these are in 1080 and you play the movie um, and it plays right away with no delay all right uh, but uh, it, it, it's the, whoever the developer is for this I mean it uh, does a beautiful job he does take a little longer to add the movies uh, they do appear on Phoenix uh, quicker uh, if you go to Phoenix again if you go to uh, uh, 124 to 415 and go to new releases they'll appear here quicker than they would on, on much but uh, must just work so smooth I mean one click and play uh, very easy I love that uh, salt and pulsar they're pretty similar uh, with the only difference with, with pulsar is that uh, if you search for a movie here let's say um, uh, the Avengers all right so you look for a movie here what it does is uh, once you uh, click on the movie it'll play right away but uh, it, it'll It'll pre-buffer before it actually plays. So it'll take a little longer to play the movie, like a minute or two. But it's pre-buffering so that when you do play the movie, it plays really smooth. Uh, again, the menu button is your friend, guys. Uh, if you press the little menu button or if you're on a keyboard, you press the C button. It brings up the sub-menu and it gives you some, some choices that you could do here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do uh, choose stream. And that way, once it categorizes everything, it goes through everything. Uh, it's going to show you here what quality it's on. Like, you know, this one's in 1080. They have it in 1080, 720, 720. You, you can see, you know, if it's uh, Dolby Digital. Uh, and, and, you know, you play the movie and it plays good. And again, it was going to pre-buffer before it actually plays the movie. Uh, so it plays really smooth. Now, Salt does the same exact thing. 
The only difference is that it doesn't pre-buffer. It just, you know, uh, it gives you the movie right away. And why you want to pre-buffering is because uh, sometimes you have uh, your internet is not as fast, uh, you know, and you want to see um, a particular movie and it stops and goes too much, and uh, that's when uh, Pulsar will come in place. Like you know, it works great for that. Uh, but you see here, same thing. You can press the menu button and select the source, and it'll sort out all the sources and tell you, okay, this one we have it in. Uh, 1080 this one we have it in uh, HD non HD actually this one only says HD or non HD see this one says uh, HD 720 HD 720 now me that's why I like Pulsar because Pulsar gives you uh, a lot of uh, really good HD sources which you know you could watch in 1480 Adobe Digital you know the, the whole works all right and then right above that you see a little widget here and this little widget gives you uh, movies of uh, what it's playing on the movie theaters, current movies or anything like that. You see like the walk, it'll give you some details, who's the the actors in it, you know, if you want to see more movies by them, um, you could go to, you know, click on them and then it'll give you more information, what other movies they've been on, you know, and so on. Uh, and then you could go and search for that movie in Pulse or Salts or anywhere else you might want to search it from. Uh, TV same thing you click on tv tab it'll give you all the sources that offer you tv stream uh tv show streaming um if you go you have salts and pulsar same thing uh you know and in this case and, and two different separate categories i mean if i type in the avengers here it's not going to give me the movie it's going to give me like uh, shows based on the avengers so movies and and, and shows are separated uh, so here you want to look for a current show, let's say The Flash, and I'll give you The Flash there, and then you can pick the season and, you know, play the show, and again, press this, the menu button to choose your stream, and it'll sort out all the sources to give you the best uh, quality one, and you could choose which one you want to watch, you know, if your internet is a little slower, then you might want to pick something that's a little less, like 720 instead of 1080, you know. And you see that the file size and everything else. It's not downloading anything, guys, because uh, uh, downloading will be bad. So it's not downloading anything. It's just pre-buffering. So if you see something going, that's just pre-buffering. It's not downloading anything at all. All right. So salt and that's salt and pulsar. Those are those two. You you have calendar. Calendar uh, gives you a calendar of uh, the whole month. Basically, uh, if you don't like the way this looks, you could go all the way to the left. You get this little hidden menu, and change it to list, right? And then now you have November first, uh, November second, and you can see what's what played on those days. So if you miss something, um, you know you could catch up. You know, Ninja Turtles played on the first. So you click on that, and it'll it'll give you some sources that have that. Uh, if it has any links or anything like that, you know, it'll go right through it. If it doesn't have any links, it'll be blank. But um, pretty good one. It, it works great for the most part. Uh, TV for me. Again, this one you can look for shows from A to Z. Uh, any particular show, if you go on Arrow, let's see, you go looking for Arrow. Uh, you have uh, season four, there's the current season, there's the current episode. And then you can press uh, again, uh, just enter and play. The only thing with this uh, source right here, most of the shows are only in 480, so they're not 720, not 1080, so you don't get the best quality, but they work. All right, uh, favorites. Uh, I skip here, here uh, Genesis. Genesis is great because you could search in various ways for your shows. So if you wanted to go by network. Uh, and go to uh, let's say uh, Fox and then Fox has the Simpsons family guys you know you, you can see all this right so now if you wanted to add something like Gotham right and I believe I already added a few but like uh, you could click on Gotham right and it'll give you all the seasons uh, season two and then you could look for the show right uh, and then you could again do play using if you want or just click on it and it'll play the show right away. But again, when you click on something, it's gonna give you the best available one, uh, the fastest available one, which means that it's gonna give you whatever it, 
it thinks is the fastest one which could be non HD so I like to always use the menu button and choose the stream uh, again it takes a little a couple more seconds um, but you know you'll get a list of what's there and then you see this one is in HD so you can watch it in HD and you just click on it and it'll play all right uh, the other thing I like to do is again once you get to the show you you're on Gotham you press the menu button and you can add it to your library okay what this does is that once you go to your library here in favorites right where it says files and you see right here it says Genesis TV shows uh, it's gonna put everything here for you so you guys could easily find it here um, but a step above that is that once you add something there there's another little tab right underneath favorites uh, which says TV shows next air if you click on that and go all the way to the left go to settings anytime you add a new show you do this uh, you update the information you see it's gonna add the new show and that what it does once you launch it again it kind of gives you your own little TV guys so I know like I don't have to wonder when does Gotham play or oh, Gotham plays on Monday you know, when those, uh, what's on Tuesday, or oh, Shields is on Tuesday, what's on Wednesday, Empires is on Wednesday, you know. So your own personal library with the shows that you watch, that you like to watch. So you never miss an episode, you click on it, it takes you right to it, so you could, you know, watch the season, uh, watch the show, you know, it, it, it works great. So it's your own little personal guide. Uh, and since I like to watch everything, like I said, I like to choose my, my quality, and I think the best source for that is Pulsar. So I actually start adding them in that order. So I go to search and, and I go, let's say, uh, Gotham, right? And then I add this to my favorites, right? So anything you guys find that you, you have a hard time finding before, you, you add it to your favorites and it'll appear here, favorites. And you see here's Gotham. And then it'll give me the, the season and the episodes. And then you do your the same thing you're doing before. Press menu, choose your stream, or you could just click on it and play it. Uh, I like to choose stream, like I said, because uh, I want the best quality. Um, so those are those those are favorites. I mean, you could add anything to favorites, whether it's an add-on or, or something that you had a hard time finding. Let's say you go to Phoenix. Um, you know, you, you're one, two, four, uh, new releases. You, so you like new releases, you want to find it a little bit quicker. You press the, the menu button here, you add it to favorites. And now when you go to favorites, and it's right here. So it's a quick little shortcut, li quick little way to get to whatever it is that you like the most. All right. Uh, screen savers here. Uh, gives you a, a few screen savers, you know, if you want like a fireplace with a crackling sound or a beach or anything like that, you know, playing in the background and, and your TV, you know, while you're not watching anything on Cody, it's, uh, it's there for you too as well. Live sports, click on the live sports tab and it'll give you a bunch of different things that offer sports. Um, but these are again these are my favorite ones uh, Dexter and B dub 25 are uh, about the same as far as like uh, uh, the channels that they offer so if I go to B dub 25 see you go to uh, you got a couple of channels here not all of them work guys not all of them are always gonna work these channels do go down uh, Fox Sports 1 works great you can see it's playing there all right uh, same thing with uh, Dexter has a couple of channels there. You go to Fox Sports and Fox Sports One, and that's playing. Sports well. All right. So again, it, not every channel is gonna work, but for the most part, a lot of them work, and they work good. They work in HD, so it's good. Uh, first row and LS Hunter again about the same thing. So you click, click on first row, and you go to a football, right? So we know right now, uh, you know, it tells you pretty much who's gonna play at what time. So if Denver's playing at 8.30, so at 8.30 you come and click on that if you wanna watch that game. Uh, you could go through all the, the games here, see what's, what's playing at what time. See New Orleans is playing uh, Giants at one, which is about now the game should still be on, let's see. Uh, and it'll play it and not, it's not always gonna play it in very good quality uh, And the reason why you get so many links is because a, a lot of them. I don't know if that's the right time here um, Let me see 
I could be in the wrong time. I don't think. Sorry, the clock the clock turned back <laughs> today. But uh, uh, you know, you you go to the right time and it'll it'll play most of the shows. And you know, um, again, it won't be HD. Uh, Ellis Hunter does the same thing. You know, again, he plays football, and it'll tell you, you know, uh, the date, November first. What, what, what are we today? Today's the second, I think. No, today's the first. Right, and then you go through it and see what uh, what to play. Okay. Um, Sports Devil is just like that. That's where I grabbed everything from, and Sports Devil has all the different things uh, here that you can choose episode uh, live sports from again uh, they're not the greatest quality but if there happens to be a game uh, that's not being broadcast in your area you could always catch it here as well as pay-per-views and anything else you'll find it here so you just click on the first row and then you know if there's a boxing event you press on boxing and it'll tell you when it's coming up or what time and you know when you could watch it all right uh, again uh, the more popular the the particular pay-per-view is the the worse it is as far as like trying to log in because uh, uh, too many people are accessing the server so it gets a little slow uh, so for my particular preference I like to wait for the following day and then you just go right here to sports and go to replays and in replays you basically find all the events there you, you know you could watch them um, usually in pretty good quality some like this one is they have an SD some of them they have an HD uh, you could always look through it through Pulsar too as well if you want. Uh, then you have USC replays here, right? You have uh, wrestling replays and boxing. And then if you click on Zeus, it's a lot more sports there for you to choose from. All right. Uh, kids, kids section has a bunch of things here too as far as like, you know, cartoons, anime, old cartoons, uh, kids stuff, uh, uh, let's see if you want to watch Disney collection, uh, you know, you have uh, Disney movies so you want to watch The Incredibles, Tinkerbell, whatever. It's all there. Um, and then you have my favorite ones here, which all these give you like anime, cartoons, that you, you know, movies, popular movies, uh, whether the last ones and whether it's dub or, or uh, you know, uh, in Japanese or whatever, however you want to watch it. It's all there. Uh, add-ons. Add-ons is where you find basically all your add-ons. Uh, so let's say for whatever reason you don't like this 80s music videos, you don't like that add-on, you want to get rid of it, you can just press on the menu button, uh, add-on information, and then uninstall. Okay? Um, you know, as if you want to get rid of it, you know, any add-on that you might want to get rid of is there. Uh, then you have on the bottom here, you have a program called NaviX. NaviX uh, basically is a huge, huge program, unfiltered. Uh, it has uh, a, a lot of things on it, a lot of things, all right? So you click on start here. Uh, you could go through the last seven days, last 24 hours, most recently uploaded, latest media entries, like, you know, you can search either either way. Uh, here you can find from movies, TV shows, 3D movies, uh, uh, 5.1 Adobe Digital. You find everything here. It's a huge, huge program. Not a lot of people use it because it could be a little intimidating because there is a lot of things in here. A lot of things, okay? And you could go and get lost on everything that, that you could find here. Um, and you could play around with that. I mean, if you ever get lost, just press all the way back and then go to exit to get out of it okay so not a lot of people using it it's an awesome program though and, um, if you feel comfortable using it go ahead and do so earthcam brings you cameras from all around the world if there's live feed live feed cameras uh you know you could choose your uh where you want to watch it from so we're in new jersey so we're going to choose new jersey and you have uh you know seaside cams and you could watch, you know, uh, you know, see if the boardwalk is empty, how's the weather outside, you know, you could um, watch live feeds and so on, you know, uh, and it works great. I mean, uh, they usually turn the cameras off when it rains too much, but uh, uh, for the most part, you know, you, you see them there if you want to see that. Uh, Super Favorites is uh, basically where I put everything all categorized for you. So, you know, you want to find something there, it's all there, all categorized go through it see what you find 
YouTube. YouTube has a... YouTube is YouTube. Everybody knows YouTube. You know, you, know, you can search for a particular channel or you can sign in if you have your favorites or anything like that. It'll show up there. Uh, uh, trailers. It gives you movie trailers, you know, anything from new movie trailers or anything like that. It'll show up there. Okay, and then you have a little widget here from, with all the programs which you're not going to use. All right, uh, let's see. All right, power. Uh, so when you guys first get the boxes uh, or, you know, you loaded uh, Cody up to anywhere, it runs really smooth, really quick. Uh, the more you guys watch it, the more you use it, especially if you're going through movies that have those little fancy artwork and everything else. Like, let's say... Uh, Let's say you go to uh, the movies here. Let's, let's go to MUDs, right? If you go all the way to the left, you could change the way everything looks. Actually, we have to go through, let's see. Go to movies, right? You see how it looks here? All the little artwork right there. Uh, you could change it to look a little bit uh, more like Netflix. Let me see what the thing is showcase, right? Okay, so it looks a little bit, you know, more fun for you to watch. Um, anyways, whenever you do this or you're watching a movie, the, you know, it loads up pretty quick because it's saving all the stuff in the background. It's saving it for you. So those little pictures eventually add up. So after five, six months, depending on how much you use it, uh, you know, it starts loading up your box too much, especially if you have the Amazon box or the stick. They only come with like eight gigs or any Android box, they, they come with like about 16 gigs of, of space. Uh, you know, eventually it starts getting so loaded that, you know, the system doesn't react as well. So what you do at that point, you're gonna go to uh, right here where it says power, you're gonna go down and you're gonna clear logs, you're gonna delete packages, you're gonna clear your artwork and clear your cache, okay? So whenever you click on something, you're gonna get a little pop up there that says, okay, delete, you know, uh, okay. And if it says, do you want to restart now? You say no, you, you, after, you, you're you only going to restart after you've done all, all those four. Once you do all those four, you click on power, you click on power and it's going to shut off the unit, the uh, Cody, and then you launch it again and it should be good as new. Uh, it basically get rid of all the artwork and everything else. Uh, and that way, you know, uh, when you load everything up, it's nice and smooth because it clear all the cache and everything else. Uh, test uh, your download speed. This is if you feel like your uh, speed is a little slow, you click on that and it's going to tell you, okay, how, how well your speed is, if it's fast or not. You know, if, uh, maybe you need to, if you feel like you're watching something and it constantly keeps stopping and going, stopping and going, it's because your internet is a little slow. Uh, system and system here you can make any changes to the scan you could do a lot of things uh, unless you're an advanced user I wouldn't suggest you touching this too much because uh, you could really uh, make things look really bad uh, or not work properly uh, so system only touch if you know exactly what you're doing if not you know leave it alone um, here you have uh, the info and here usually in storage uh, again I'm on a Mac so it's, it's showing quite a bit of uh, space you know uh, uh, I have over a terabyte of uh, hard drive space. Uh, uh, so in, in the Amazon box, it'll say uh, out of five gigs because the other three are being used by the system. Uh, you know, you have like two gigs left and, and if you're down to like one gig, it's time to do a cleanup. So it's time to go to that power tap and start doing a little bit of cleanup, all right? So system info is there. Uh, skin settings again if you want to change any settings on the skin uh, again don't touch these unless you know exactly what you're doing uh, add-ons will bring you to the more advanced add-ons where you can pick audio add-ons and stuff like that if you want to delete something uh, and your IP if you need to check your IP uh, news 12 um, is basically if you have uh, direct TV you don't get news 12 uh, or you have uh, files and you don't get news 12 you could just click on this and you'll you'll get news 12 no problem uh, you know Massive. all right uh, let's see uh, then you have international channels here so if you want to cha watch channels from all around the world from Italy uh, Russia anywhere Pakistan Germany anywhere you'll find them there uh, Spanish channels uh, uh, you'll find a bunch of here from Argentina uh, 
pretty pretty much any Spanish channel you'll find here. Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, Peru. Um, and 90% uh, of these channels work. All right, not all of them work. Some of them go down sometimes, but 90% of them work all the time. Uh, DCloud, DCloud brings you uh, a bunch of different uh, channels here. Uh, again, they come and go, not always working. I, I tested out CNN before and you see it works. All right, so if you don't get CNN, wherever, depending on your package, you know, if, uh, you can watch it there, local channels. Again, everybody should have local channels. I mean, all you gotta do is attach an antenna, do a scan if you really wanna cut the cord uh, and, you know, just uh, put an antenna. But if you don't wanna go through all that, I mean, this will give you some local channels. Uh, not the best quality, but it'll work, okay? And then streams, it brings you to more channels, the more add-ons basically that provide you with streams. Uh, and this one works pretty good. Uh, you know, they have a lot more channels here to choose from, and you could click on them and see what works and what does not. Uh, IPTV goes down a lot, guys. You know, the, the ones that stay more active is the international and the Spanish. Uh, News 12 always works, uh, but these other ones they kind of go down quite a bit, so they're not always active. Uh, uh, I, I always tell people instead of cutting the cord, just lower your bill to like the lowest possible one, and then everything else. I mean, if there's an HBO show that you watch, you could always find it with Pulsar or Stream All the Sources or, or any of those add-ons, you'll find them there. So you don't really need all that. You know, all you really need is the basic basic if you really think about it, you know. Um, uh, unless you're a big sports fan and you need to watch all, the, uh, all of them in HD and everything else, I mean, I will keep that package too as well. So, I mean, um, but don't, don't get fooled by anybody that tells you uh, cut your cable, you know, uh, you know, get rid of it. This will, uh, no, this is not stable. As far as IPTV goes, it's not very stable. And not a lot of those channels are, are in HD. So I just put some here for whoever, you know, maybe you have a, a TV in the room that uh, you can't run cable to or, you know, whatever the case is, you know, it's there for you. Um, then you have the music tab here. Music has a, if you go to music videos, you have a bunch of channels that offer you music videos, okay, uh, live concerts or anything like that, uh, not live concerts, I'm sorry, concert replays, uh, karaoke, if you want to do a little bit of karaoke, you have uh, YouTube music videos, or if you want to check out uh, top billboards, uh, top 100s, uh, you know, you want to, you know, check any new music video there by choice, all right, it all works fine. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, you have Suze Radio, which gives you another different categories as far as music for you to choose from. And then you have Pandora. Pandora, guys, Pandora, it's, uh, you could have a free account. Uh, you could go to Pandora and sign up and enter in your, your own account and, you know, add your own music there. What I did here was I added a uh, an account uh, with a bunch of different uh, uh, a bunch of different stations so if you don't want to go through the process of creating an account and everything else because it's free but um, here you know if you do Pandora anywhere else unless you pay for the premium you'll get commercials you get uh, a bunch of different things but right here you you're gonna get music with no commercials unlimited skips you know right so you keep skipping, watch us, listen to as much music as you like. You get a nice, you know, visual there, and that's pretty much it. You just, you know, enjoy music as much as you want. All right. So you click on music itself. You get music, uh, music uh, channels there. You got, uh, you know, you got little kids that want to listen to Disney radio when you know music with no type of cursing or anything like that. Uh, great way for your kids to listen to music uh, then you have the fitness tab fitness you have a bunch of different fitness add-ons here you can go from yoga to uh, Zeus fit it has a bunch of different ones from insanity to workouts a uh, uh, bunch of different ones that you could choose from there um, these are two more that offer you more so you can go through that and then you have pulse fit which has a bunch of different 
uh, add-ons too as well for, for you to choose from from YouTube people and everything else or, uh, and if you click on fitness itself it'll bring you to all those uh, add-ons there all right uh, and then lastly you have the EMG tab here and right here you guys are gonna see probably I'm gonna try and upload that video here a uh, little tab here underneath EMG and then uh, you have the build update so if there's any er, any time I go in and I make any changes I'm just gonna load in if you guys feel like your system is not you know you want to see maybe if there was an update or anything like that you click on that and I'll update the the unit to whatever changes I might have made so anything you know you just click on it it's gonna say okay it's uh, updating it's gonna start downloading the build you know I'm gonna cancel it because I don't need it but uh you know it'll download it it'll it'll install it and then I'll it'll put it away all right so that's EMG build uh, uh, for you guys I uh, enjoy it uh, have fun with it uh, play around with it you know and, and if you ever make any mistakes or you delete something that you shouldn't have deleted again you can always go to EMG build here and do the update and it'll put it back to normal or to the latest thing that I might have uh, and that's pretty much it play around with it enjoy it and have fun thank you have a good day